Hey guys, it's your girl Jen. I just came on here to let you guys know that um, I have gotten nothing but hundreds on um, my last paper, which was seven pages. And um, it was about uh, social impact theory. And not only that, but um, I wanted to know if you guys have seen uh, my last video where I talked about where I was 12 years old and um, regarding my experience of uh, experimenting, or I should say experimenting because nobody experiments with suicide, but um, basically just comes on here to let you guys know that uh, I feel, hey Nicola, I feel that um, it was something that was on my heart and God wanted me to talk about it. Um, how I, I know what it feels like to want to get to that point where you don't want to live anymore. And it just breaks my heart to know that there's so many people out there that go through this every single day. Hey little bro! I wasn't sure if you are going to join me today. I wish you would come on camera. That's what I would really like. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah guys, I'm doing great in college and I'm just doing an amazing job uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, it's a brand new channel and I already got a uh, thank you. Thank you, Nicola. Um, you know, it's a brand new channel. It's a brand new experience. And I come on here to let you guys know that I'm raising awareness for... Very nice. I'm getting... Um, raising awareness for mental health and... Uh, oh, no. No, that's not going to happen. And if it does, I got back up this time. <laughs> um, so uh, the only thing I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, my girlfriend's out of the hospital. She unfortunately had a suicide attempt. And I caught her just in time. And I told her, you know, why didn't you come to me first? I mean, we've been friends since we were in grammar school. You know, I used to fight her battles of her being bullied. I would make sure I got bullied so she would be free. And it was just, it was really sad, really sad of what happened. Um, you know, like I said, she just, uh, she almost took her life. And I'm just grateful that I was able to be there with her and help her through the whole situation. Um, but gratefully, by the grace of God, she is doing much better, and she's getting the proper help that she needs. So, and she actually told me, she said, Jen, your videos have helped me so much. You are such an inspiration to my life and a motivation for me to want to do better. And when she's feeling better, I'm hoping she'll do an interview with me so I could show you guys that, you know, help is out there. You just have to reach out. You just have to just be brave enough to reach out and like I've said before if you if you ever feel like you're you need someone to talk to my DM is always open you guys could always message me I do read all the comments I do read all the messages it's just sometimes I'm just not on all the time but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys you know a little bit on what's going on and that my girlfriend is doing much better so I'm really happy about that Unfortunately, I, I hate to tell you guys, but uh, the hacker attacked my little brother. So now his account is hacked. And I'm not happy about that. So we, uh, we have to work together about raising awareness for scammers. We also have to raise awareness for people to understand that people are not who they seem to be. And that sometimes they could be pretending they're somebody and they're really not. You know, so just take it with a grain of salt. Somebody messaged you, it sounds kind of weird. You know, the first thing is first, don't give out your personal information. Don't believe a word they say. And if they try to contact you saying, oh, I can get you money, more than likely it's a scam. I mean, what are the chances of someone going to give you $2,000 just because they like you? <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. Um, but no, that's that's not how our world works, you know, I just, 
I, I want to have faith that somebody will be like, hey, you know, you did such an amazing job on your live or you did such an amazing job in, in school. So here's a $2,000 check or, or money or whatever. But like I said, I'm not saying it's impossible because we all know that um, miracles are possible, especially if you're, you know, saved and you believe in Jesus and, and God and stuff. And you know that miracles happen every single day. So um, anyway, like I was saying, I'm just grateful to be here. It's a really good day today. Remember to slay your mental dragons daily and just know that there are people that love and care about you and want the best for you. And as I've said before, if you ever need anybody to talk to, my DM is always open. You could always talk to me. And like I said, if I don't respond right away, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I have two kids and I'm also working on my channel and I'm working on school. So I have other things to occupy my time. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I love all your faces. You guys are true to my heart. And I just hope and pray that, you know, for those that are struggling with mental health, please, 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 it is okay not to be okay all the time. You know, this is why I have my title, The Queen of Growth and Support, because I'm here as a support system. I will be there for you regardless of your situation. It doesn't matter. All right, so listen, I don't mean to cut this short, guys, but my next live, I will be a lot longer, and hopefully I can bring my little brother with me. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, um, take care, be well, keep fighting, slay those mental dragons daily, and just know that you are loved and you are cared for. I love all your faces. Bye-bye.